So what's going on guys? My name is Mr. Dalek JD and today is the day. Zombies is freaking back ladies and gentlemen as we have gotten a fantastic new Black Ops 4 Zombies trailer including gameplay which is called The Chaos Story. If you guys want to see this trailer in full without me talking then please go ahead and click the link below. But in this video we are going to be providing you with the frame by frame analysis breakdown of this trailer so we can learn as much much as we possibly can from this trailer or within this video. I always love doing these and the fact that we have a new Zombies trailer for Black Ops 4 is just unreal. So if you guys enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate you clicking that thumbs up button and subscribing as this will be your number one stop for everything Black Ops 4 Zombies. But jumping straight into the trailer within the first five seconds, there's already stuff for us to talk about. And it all kicks off with this overview of the titanic map from what i believe will be the spawn room as we saw in the cinematic it ends with our characters on the deck of the titanic and within this shot here where it spans across this deck of the titanic you can see a multitude of different wall buys including starting pistols as well as your typical assault rifles and where the viable entrances are there seems to be two ones on the staircase here and there's one below which will take you through a door but everything in this has a weird blue glow to it which we've not seen before in Treyarch Zombies even including the debris buyable so very exciting. Now the entire storyline for the new characters in Black Ops 4 Zombies is that Scarlet Rhodes is on a mission to rescue her father. All we know is that her eccentric father has mysteriously disappeared and she's got the help of three loyal outcasts who seem to be wanting to return the favor for something that either she or her father has done to help them out in the past. The identity of her father is still unknown, but he seems to be a very important person as the prized relic that they are trying to uncover belong to her father and wields an extraordinary power that threatens all of humanity. Detail along all of the shots we're seeing on the Titanic are jaw-dropping. Treyarch, you are amazing. It has to be said. You see this little hallway where there's a mysterious thing on the left which we do see a little bit later and we'll touch upon. You see bloodsmith on the walls. You see some artwork on the walls pasted as well as this creepy horse toy which is just crazy. This is obviously the aftermath once the zombie hordes have been let loose on the Titanic itself as you can see ripped through walls as well as damage everywhere. And this is where things get extremely exciting as we have a brief shot of an Egyptian god statue which we believe to be Ra and this is the first of a few different statues we see with the blink of an eye in this trailer. The first one being the Egyptian god Ra before it then switches to another which is obscure for the first frame but it's actually a very detailed shot of the necklace of the goddess Danu which I got as a physical statue from Treyarch a few days ago and you then see a much better shot of her here. And I could be slightly biased because I got her statue you, but seeing the effects of what she's doing in the brief few moments is insane. Obviously, everything tied to her revolves around nature, and she is controlling this wisp of leaves that are gathering around her. And as you can tell from the last one, it seemed that the Egyptian god Ra was indoors, whilst this one is outdoors. And it doesn't necessarily tell us if these are perks, but we assume them to be perks, and this looks amazing. And then the scene after that, we see some very familiar territory where from the intro cutscene to Voyage of Despair we see that the dark magic that's been ensued upon the ship flows through like a virus transforming everyone that's on the ship into zombies and we then see all of these people turn into zombies trying to attack Scarlet as she just pushes her way forwards through this huge dining room area of the Titanic. Now Jason Blundell has said that this map is possibly one of the biggest Call of Duty zombie maps we've ever seen and part of the 
trailer does indeed show that multiple layers of maps can be going on at once. She's pushing forwards with the ICR-7, which is our first confirmed weapon for BO4 zombies. And what's really interesting is this next scene here, which we see for just a brief moment. And it's obvious that this is one of the main steering wheels that steers the Titanic. And there is a set of two sort of lever systems either side of the wheel. The wheel is a little bit broken. It seems to be completely overturned by this evil magic, which seems to be part alien goo eye. It's just very weird. We can see a bunch of different signs on this, which is labeled the White Star Vessel. It's labeled on now Set of Night Signal. But there's other options such as Slack Away Starbed, Not Clear Starbed, Let Go Tug, Let Go Alaft, All Clear Starbed, and Hold On Starbed. Now details like this are obviously things to not go amiss and is probably something that we're going to be using within the map sort of main mechanics or maybe even an easter egg step but also look at that skybox this is just beautiful last time i saw a moon that pretty it got blown up by rockets so wow Triarch, you're really really blowing me away with the visuals here and i think part of how we can explain what this weird stuff is on the wheel is the fact that there's a dead zombie's body attached to the wheel which is also sort of cocooned by all this stuff now it's obvious when we see in the trailer that it's not just part zombies that we're seeing here but also part of a weird sort of mutation of zombie which we could assume to be a new form such as the apophagans we saw in shadows of evil with the margwas as we do see a new sort of big zombie in this that's sort of reminiscent of that and these next few scenes just really personify that there is a lot of this weird sort of cocoon like substances everywhere which is affecting just everything that's on this boat even including the zombies you can see heads sort of cocooned inside of it it's it's really really strange and obviously the camera is making a big point on this as well that there is not just the undead on board now here's where we get our first look at these incredible statues and it, this is quite obvious to be the god zeus he's got the iconic lightning in his hands and this is exactly what Triarch teased on their twitter around about a week or so ago and this just looks gorgeous the detail on this thing is crazy we still don't get enough look at it to confirm if this is a perk or not as we can't see it being used but the detail is beautiful and our new language is making a return by just being all over this statue as well in incredible detail now we saw this in the intro cutscene but we now can also see what the new mystery box looks like where it's just a very very strange but beautiful concept this box looks unbelievable and when it opens it's sort of like two compartments just sort of levitating a little bit opening and the guns are just there and as you can see we've got what looks to be some sort of small smg but do we end up using that? Absolutely not, as Scarlet now has a dual-wielding combo. She has a amazing, what seems to be like a blundergat of sorts in her left hand, and then this awesome sword in her right. This left blundergat shotgun is incredibly strong. It just completely demolishes all the zombies to smithereens, and really reminds me of the blundergat from Mob of the Dead, actually, but obviously it's a little bit different. And then she follows it up with a swipe of this sword, which completely sort of like vaporizes the zombies it's insane now as it appears in the trailer and what i expect is that during moments of gameplay the actual map will suffer a bunch of sort of environmental moments where you know ceilings will shatter chandeliers are shattering as we see in this clip here and that's going to affect everything in the gameplay like as if the ship you know is sailing across the sea and things are happening in real time like as if it really would happen on a boat and this shot just goes to show you how many layers that are to the titanic there's one we see shore with some sort of laser weapon there and then we move on to a third one and there's an underground area of the map as well so underground water areas from zetsabo are making a return let me know if you're a fan of that or not down below and in this next scene we see some really cool stuff on the right we see our close-up shot of a wall by which looks 
unbelievable. There's a few alchemical symbols which surround the weapon, as you can see, and it appears the character buys it after lighting this Molotov, which is no ordinary Molotov, of course. This is zombies, so it looks and works very different. It sort of just vaporizes the zombies, really, so that's pretty damn awesome, but the Brecky is making a return from Black Ops 3. I'm not sure if the Brecky's considered a fan favorite weapon, but it's a pretty darn good shotgun in my opinion. I mean, I still kind of like the Haymaker better, but either way, this gun Pack-A-Punched is a beast and is strange but amazing at the same time to see this gun return. And as we saw in the original 9 trailer, these mutated zombies make a return. It just came out of a normal zombie, so I don't know exactly what causes this to happen. We can expect these to be the new versions of the Marguers and they look pretty horrifying. Now, here's a shot which I'm sure a lot of you guys were going crazy about and we see a staff. We have had teasers of a staff weapon being in Black Ops 4 Zombies and now we see it in action. The effects of this staff when put down makes it look like any outside zombies are stunned and cannot enter this bubble shield whilst this main boss zombie still does but it seems that each character as we were told last month at E3 has a set of special weapons which can be equipped before the match begins. And whilst these aren't technically called specialist weapons, they pretty much are. They're special weapons and there's a very strange information leak over on the Call of Duty Zombies subreddit right now where they're detailing some info about how the class setup works. Now, there is no 100% proof if this is legitimate or not, but this came out before the trailer and there was no way really of them knowing this information specifically if they didn't really know what was going on. So they described that each character has a weapon pertaining to them but any character can equip any weapon so Shaw's weapon is the sword which we saw Scarlet using Scarlet's weapon is the staff which we see her use in the trailer here Diego's as a harpoon and disc which we do see later on in the nines part of the trailer and Bruno's is a hammer which we do also see in the nine part of the trailer and speaking of that let's jump right into that portion because we throw the staff down and I don't know if this is an effect that we can use but in the story of everything going on the staff helps us teleport through dimensions to another part of history where we're now in the map nine. And while some of us thought maybe these perk statues were only going to be in say the nine map because they look very old fashioned, they look very like ancient Greek-esque. It doesn't seem to be the case as we see one of these perk statues massively head on here as we can see a Zeus statue right there which looks absolutely amazing on top of this uh, really beautiful building. What's cool is within this trailer itself we're getting storyline information and character development which we've not actually had before besides the initial trailers which is awesome and we see Bruno unleash his hammer which is just godly. It's literally Literally like using Thor's hammer itself. He just has a load of zombies, slams it down, and it sends like an electrical wonder waff effect, which just sends them all back. Now, with yesterday's Call of Duty teaser, some of you guys may have realized what it was, and some guessed correctly, actually. A lot of us got it wrong, but it was indeed a tiger. It does make sense for a tiger, as you know, during uh, ancient Rome, where they would throw warriors into the Colosseum and let out live animals, such as tigers, for the entertainment of the crowd so we're going to have a tiger to deal with not sure if that's going to be replacing the hellhounds as we only see one but what is funny is we see one of our characters down he needs reviving he has the ray gun and he's in the process of being revived but obviously needs a bit of cover fire which is pretty funny to see within the shot as well we can possibly also make out the new starting pistol it, it was also mentioned that we can customize our starting weapons but it'd be nice and i I guess to keep continuity to show the starting pistols and I mean if you're down you are going to have your starting pistol out so this could be what the starting pistol is like and we also see our character here Scarlet wielding a really cool LMG which looks like a sort of mini version of the MGOA and that always gets a big thumbs up from me. Now a big complaint which people 
people had from seeing the initial 9 trailer was that it seemed like the arena was the only playable parts of the map. Jason Blundell already confirmed that there is a lot more to the map than just that and we finally see it here in gameplay. We see as the zombies are swarming across the screen you can see a wall bite on the wall which has the same continuity symbols as we saw within the Voyage of Despair and you can also see the mystery box there just slightly in the left and it's the same mystery box layout and design as in Voyage of Despair so everything is staying the same. In this shot we get to see Diego's harpoon and disc which is really really cool. It sort of works a bit like a mini Hell's Retriever. The left handed version which I guess is going to be the disc you throw it and it simply just slices zombies heads off and then returns to you and you can use that harpoon on the right to just simply melee yourself away throughout all the zombie hordes. It seems like a very strong weapon to use indeed. Maybe not as strong as a Bruno's hammer but still looks amazing. And whilst the disc is being thrown if you look close enough in the background you can actually see two of our new god statues. You see Danu who is returning from the Voyage of Despair map and you can see clearly that her effects are active right now. You can see her hand is glowing green and is just looking amazing and identical to the statue that I received. It's literally a one-to-one -one. and then to the right we see a brand new statue which we've not seen before. It's a little too pixelated to really see any detail but to me it looks like it has an Egyptian vibe. If you have any ideas let me know. And then as we go into a different area of the Colosseum which seems to be a sort of underground area. It seems very tight. There isn't a lot of space for you to run around and we see what we assume to be the boss zombie of the nine map which is this gigantic gladiator with an axe in his left hand. There is just so much armor on this guy. You can clearly see all of our characters are trying their best to take him out. And he can throw these axes as well, which are absolutely lethal. And our characters dodge by the skin of their teeth. Now, what's very interesting is in this scene as well that's happening, there is a very mysterious device in the middle of the room. There is a weird blue orb on top of the ceiling. It seems like it's quite a big orb and it seems to be powering this thing in the middle. And if I'm honest, I'm going to assume that this is the Pack-a-Punch machine on the map 9. It just makes a lot of sense. Some really weird energy coming out of the portal of this thing as well and if this is the Pack-a-Punch then it looks absolutely amazing. As our characters are fighting off this boss you can notice a ton of amazing detail in the background from a bunch of different hieroglyphics which to me look like the alchemical symbols that we've come to know and love which is going to be a continuity thing again between the two maps there's just a lot of amazing stuff in here aside from that i think i have everything i've wanted to say in this breakdown covered let me know what you think of all of this down below in the comment section if you guys enjoy this breakdown let me know drop a thumbs up this has taken me a long long time to put together but it's been very very enjoyable and what a trailer man treyarch have absolutely killed it with this trailer Honestly, I'd put it there as one of my top five favorite Zombies trailers that we've ever received. This was just an amazing trailer from start to finish. And the music as well. Such a great remade version of I Put a Spell on You by Nina Simone. It's just perfect for what is happening within this story. It's utter chaos. And this weird, mysterious zombie dark magic is putting a spell on everyone, including us, because we are freaking hyped as hell to play it. Thank Thank you so much for watching again if you want to check out the full raw trailer without me talking i'll have it linked down below in the description or as an interactive i card on your screen and it has been throughout this entire video i've got one more black ops 4 zombies video to release today so definitely don't miss out on that one it's going to be involving some stuff about blood of the dead and our premise crew so check that out whenever it's dropped be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on zombies is back baby thank you for watching